right, and welcome back to another episode of NBA Shorts with me again. Here is Jackson Law. We are going over the NBA trade deadline. The Magic made another move. They have shipped Evan Fournier to the Boston Celtics for two second round picks. Jackson, do you like this deal for the Magic? Do you like this deal for the Celtics? Kenny Ames did it again, man. He it's it's a steal. Two second round picks. You're not giving up anything relatively good for a guy that will probably step in and take uh, the role that Gordon Hayward had. Uh, Fournier is a guy that's been averaging almost 20 points. It's a, I think it's a great move. He'll step in, like I said, take the role that Hayward had, uh, can shoot the three, can play mate, can drive. Uh, and that's the type of player that the Celtics have been missing. The Celtics have been pretty disappointing this year, to say the least. And I know that's why you've become more of a hockey guy uh, <laughs> in the season than sticking with the Celtics. Uh, does it put him over the top? Again, like we talked about with the Vucevic uh, trade, um, not 100% sure, but it's, it's a st- it's, they're better than what they were before the trade. Don't get me wrong here. The pure value of giving up two second round picks for a guy who's averaging 20 points a game and shooting 39% from three. Seems like a pretty good deal, but I'm just such a Debbie Downer about this team. I'm not <laughs> sure how much it changes. Kemba Walker's still shot. Uh, I, I I do think something like this helps the team chemistry because you're adding a guy. The Celtics don't really have a sharp shooting three point presence on their team, so the pure value of it I like. My question here is: Okay, we used our Gordon Hayward exception on Evan Fournier who is also a free agent after the season and what happens if he leaves. The only kind of, I guess, positive about it is now Orlando owns the trade exception from, from Hayward now. So they could possibly move that off for more assets, but that's the only thing. That's really the only thing. Cause those two, those two second round picks, they're going to be, they're going to be bad picks. So yeah. They pretty much gave Evan Fournier up for almost nothing. Fournier is a terrific player. He should definitely help the Celtics. Does it change their landscape at all? Do they do they maybe win an extra playoff series or now? I think because the, they're really think, there's they might not make the playoffs right now. <laughs> yeah, the, their success solely depends on if Tatum and Brown can get it together, and then everyone else uh, can can mesh well. And I think, like I said, Fournier will fill in that Hayward role, and with Hayward's presence gone and seeing what he's doing. And Charlotte, you see just like how big of a hole that he left in the Celtics team. Um, The question is just going to be, can Fournier fill it completely? Can he do more? Or is he just going to be a lesser version of what Hayward was for this team? All right, that's going to do it for this episode of NBA Shorts. Evan Fournier shipped to the Boston Celtics. Looks like a good deal for the Celtics. Only two second round picks for a player of his caliber. Make sure to follow Jackson. That's JLaw 1995. Myself, Trey Daubert. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button on YouTube. We'll see you next time.